One way to abstract from a piece of music is to forget about the rhythm for a second and just think about the pitches or the notes. If we think about how the notes are related to each other, that can give us different scales. Scales are a string of notes that have certain relationships with each other. For example, this is a C major scale. This scale doesn't use all the notes on the piano. There are 12 different notes on the piano. And every 12 notes, the pattern repeats itself. And each of those 12 notes gives us an octave. There are different ways to divide the 12 notes up. In the normal scale, they're divided up unevenly, so the gaps between them are uneven, which means that if we draw them on a circle of notes, there is no rotational symmetry. If we spin the picture around, it won't come back to land on the same colours until it's gone all the way around to an octave. That means that the pattern only repeats itself every octave, so we can kind of hear where it does it. which makes it sound rooted. However, if we divide the 12 notes up into equal parts, then it won't sound rooted anymore because it will have rotational symmetry. For example, if we do six times two, then it will sound like this. That sounds much more hazy. It's called the whole tone scale. Debussy is one composer who loved using the whole tone scale to create slightly more wishy-washy sounds. For example, in this piece, Voile, it's all whole tone scales. If we divide 12 up into four times three, then we get this is called the diminished chord and is also unrooted. Here's an example from Schubert. He's giving the impression of wishy-washy, misty water. If we do three times four, we get this, which is the augmented chord, which is also an unrooted kind of chord. Here's an example from a song by Wolf. It's about a tragic forsaken girl who wakes up from a dream and realizes she had this terrible dream. And so when it goes into the dream part, he uses this augmented chord to sound unrooted. The beginning has normal chords. And then it goes into augmented chords in the middle. So we have these normal chords and then this. Different factorization of numbers can appear in music in rhythm or in pitch, and it's abstractly coming down to the same piece of math. The composers weren't necessarily thinking about factorizing when they were writing this music, but we can think about factorizing to help us understand how they did it. <laughs>